alone. Yes, it's a beautiful sight to see my extended family here in Seattle, Washington. I'm glad to be here for the first time. Amen. 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 I'm very grateful to hear the different testimonies. Some told me they've been waiting three years, nine years, six years, five years, ten years. That's, that's a long wait, but it's a wait worth having to get yourself right with God. To all of my viewing audience that are watching around the world, we're coming to you live in your country whether it's this morning, this afternoon, or tonight, uh, in the northwestern part of the wicked country of America. <laughs> Here in Seattle, Washington, about three hours flying time from Alaska, and next door to Canada, and I must say it is a blessing for us to be here. You know, I thank God for the remarks from my beloved brother, uh, Brother Bo and Elder Jones and Minister Facente. Now, I want to say to Seattle, as I was telling some of my family from Samoa that I met for the first time, we're looking to start a church here in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> This is, the, this is the reaction that we get everywhere in the world. We're going to find a place that we can rent until we get something permanent. That way you can come out of these old raggly false churches here. And let, let these poor Pit lazy crooks get a job and go to work. My objective as we travel from state to state, we was in California last weekend. 99 was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. In two days, 99 so. <clears throat> so, as I was thinking this weekend, I am tired because went to the West Coast, went back to the East Coast, flew back to the West Coast, and I say, you know what? I'm going to do this another way. <laughs> what I'm going to do is come to the West Coast and be here maybe a week or more. Amen. And <clears throat> you know, some folk ain't used to going to church through the week. But you going to learn it. That way, that keep me around a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do when I come to the West Coast, besides coming here, going back and come back the following week, I'm just going to lay over, come to Seattle, go to Portland, go to L.A., go to Sacramento go to other parts of California, this all through the week, drop down to Vegas, Phoenix, and then get home. <clears throat> I want to say to all of my brothers and sisters in Alaska, God willing, if my schedule permit, I'm looking, God be our helper, to be in Alaska this year, to be over there with my extended family there in Alaska. We have a beautiful size following there. And we're looking to open up a Truth of God temple in Alaska as well. That our Alaskan, Alaskan brothers and sisters may come and walk with the truth of the gospel. I'm so sorry that we ran out of room. We sh should have had a larger room, but we're going to make well enough to do. At least I got you close range. Amen. You can feel it real good when I hit you with the book. <laughs> Amen. So I'm glad for all of you that are here. And I can never thank God enough 
for giving us a in-your-face message. Amen. Oh, we're not getting paid to preach this. Ain't nobody going to pay you to preach this. They'll pay you no mind in most cases. But in mind travel, we're traveling for one thing. To save your soul from the judgment of God that is coming upon creation. Flying in here, I began to look at the mountains and the scripture came to my mind. And I was telling my brothers about it when we went to eat. <clears throat> how in the days of Noah, it talks about how the waters rose. Fifteen cubits above the highest mountains. There's not a mountain peak that was seen sticking out of the water in the days of Noah. Not one peak of one mountain, nowhere on the earth, was sticking up out of the water. Everything thing was underwater. Can you even imagine such? And God used that flood to get even with man and woman because of your own stubbornness. Now God concluded that he won't use water no longer to destroy the world. He didn't say there won't be floods now. He just said he won't destroy the world. But now he's going to bring something worse. But the heavens and the earth which are now. Listen at this. In the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 7. The heavens and the earth. Which are now. Which are now. By the same word. By the same word that was here. Store. The same word that was preached in the days of Noah. That kept the heaven and earth in reserve. Reserved unto fire. It's reserved to what? Unto fire. Give chapter and verse for this. Second Peter chapter 3 and that was verse 7. So now this earth here <clears throat> that we are just renting right. yeah. on borrowed time. Amen. They going to come that God going to bring fire and burn everything you own up. That's why I ain't impressed with no rich person. Amen. I don't give two cents what you got. That's it. You got a limousine and your front part is in Texas and the back part somehow or another swerve around and hit Maine. <laughs> and you got to have five country codes to tell your chauffeur to make a left turn. Right. When the Lord comes, you can't take a dime with you. That's right. That's it. If you're wise, brothers and sisters, Young, middle age, or old, you will use your time wisely to give yourself over wholeheartedly Amen. to God. Amen. Lose sight on the color of your skin because it don't mean nothing. You that think you're something because you're black, I tell you what you are, black dust. That's it. That's it. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? You that think you're something because you're white, you're white dust. Amen. If you don't believe me, dig up a dead white man That's true. and dig up a dead black man. Mm -hmm. And look how the maggots and the worms feast on both corpses. There is no worms made just for blacks and just for whites. No, no segregation in the grave. Right. Worms see a black body and a white body, they ain't having a discussion. Blacks only. No one is having a discussion. The worm's going to feast on you. The worm shall feed sweetly. Do you hear this? In the book of Job, chapter 24 and at verse 20. What if God said the worm shall feed shall, sweetly? Shall do what? Shall feed shall sweetly. Shall feed sweetly. On him. So when you die, that old slick head reverend can say any nice lie that he can think of. He can make you the best so-called Christian in the world. You die without God, you're going to stand before the judgment of God and you're going to be ushered in the lake of fire. I'm here in Seattle, Washington to tell you what 
God's purpose is concerning you. What are you here for? Ask yourself, why did God make you? What are your goals, your objectives? Are you serving God? Are you a Christian? <laughs> and if you are, what kind? What is your religion? Who started your religion? Who is your pastor? What is your pastor? Man, woman, it. You know they go both ways now. That's it, sir. That's it, sir. Are you saved like the Bible says? Right. Have you bowed your head and raised your hands or joined some church? Prayed some cheap, weak sinner's prayer last week at the devil church you were a member of? Did you have your trial sermon two months ago? Are you a junior bishop in some church? A half pint elder? A deaconess? Are you a Hebrew Israelite? Think because you're black, you're right? Are you a Christian clansman who walk around giving your Hitler salute? Think you got white power. You ain't got no power at all. What were you made for? Who is your God? What is your God? Give me the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 43. All right, see you, Adam. Amen. It's time to go to work this evening. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. Isaiah. If any of you get offended, we got several doors. <laughs> if you need a breather, go ahead, brother. Where it hits you too hard, I got some extra water. Here's your choke over the scriptures. Because when you're done dousing that bottle, the word of God ain't going to change. Amen. There's only two places you're going to spend eternity. Heaven or hell. That's it. There is no purgatory. If you're a Catholic, you've been lied to. There ain't never been purgatory. If it was, I wouldn't be in Seattle. It's heaven or hell. Right or wrong, mm -hmm. you are correct or incorrect. Right, right. You're either serving God or you're a child of the devil. Mm -hmm. Most folk don't like to hear it like that, but what else are you? Right, right. You either got money or you're broke. Right. You either got a job or you're unemployed. What else can I tell you? Follow me in your Bible. Isaiah chapter 43, and we'll start reading at verse 6. Get this. I will say to the north, give up. God talking. That's right. Glory to God. Not God's. That's right. Just G-O-D. Give chapter and verse again, Williams. Isaiah chapter 43, and we're at verse 6. God says. I will say to the north. To where? To the north. That's where I'm at now, in the northwest. That's right. <laughs> What the North got to do, Williams? Give up. All right, Seattle. That's right. <laughs> Seattle. Give up. It's time for you to give up. Hallelujah. No. Right. We got a beautiful mixed crowd here. That's right. Folks right. from all kind of background. Some from the South Pacific, from Samoan Islands, Fiji Islands, Australia, from Canada, right here from Amen, Seattle, from other places. I don't care where you're from. That's right. Glory to God. God is talking to all of you here. I will say to the north, give up. And to what? And to the south. Oh, he got you southern folk too. That's right. What about them, Williams? Keep not back. How do God want to bring them? Bring my sons from far. From where? From far. From where? Bring my sons from and far. And what? And my daughters from the ends of the earth. You see that? Amen. Regardless of how far you are, that's right. whether you live in the ends of the earth, that's right. the God of heaven have one church. Amen. The building is not the church. The building ain't nothing but brick and mortar that are burned down. That's right. The church is those that have repented of their sins. Yes, sir. 
been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, have the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, or filled with God, speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance, and is following the holy, sanctified teaching of Jesus that he gave his apostles. That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's right. So I want everybody that's here this evening and you that are watching, you hear me often say, look at your religion. That's right. See, at old Washington, look at your old no good, rotten, hell-deserving religion. That's right. Look at the church you've been going to every Sunday. What kind of religion is it? That's it. Why are you a member of that Baptist church? Is God a Baptist? Right. What are you going for? That's right. Why are you giving so much money to that Pentecostal church? Is God Pentecostal? What are you going for? Amen. Why are you on that Methodist choir wasting your time singing out of a hymn book? Did God tell you to be a Methodist? What, you, stop, what are you going for? That's right. Why are you sitting there in that Catholic church hitting your head and hitting both sides of your chest and hitting your gut? <laughs> praying to Mary. Mary don't know you and you don't know her. That's right. And Mary don't hear you. Mary is dead. Right. The Bible says the dead don't know nothing. Right. Did God tell you to be a Catholic? No. no. What well, you a Catholic for then? Right. What did God tell you to do? Give up. Give up. Give up. Glory to God. God, glory to God. I will say to the north, give up. Come on, Seattle. Give up. Glory to God, I got the Bible chokehold on. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Well, maybe so about I got the chokehold on you, I'm going to put that fake religion you in and knock you totally under submission. That's right. All the religions of the world, I want you to hear the old troublemaker now. All the religions in the world. Oh, yes. That's not in the Bible, was started by men. That's right. I didn't say some of them. That's right. I said all of them. All of them. All of them. You want to know what to be? Mm -hmm. Go to the Bible. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Go to the Bible. That's right. And find out not what your mama told you to be, no. not what your father told you to be. Amen. Not what you feel like being. That's right. Go to the Bible and find out what did God tell you to be. That's it. And whatever religion you are professing tonight, and if you can't find where God told you to be it, take that religious trash and dump it. That's right. Because I'm going to burn it up while I'm here. That's right. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to take your religion. Yeah. I'm going to tell you to your Seattle, Washington face yeah. that your religion is trash. Amen. It's no good. Right. And it's from hell. That's right. And if you follow it, you're going to hell with it. That's right. That's Are you right. listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Give up. You know what? Give up. What Seattle got to do? I will say to the north, give up. See, the preachers won't tell you this. No. You non-denominational. Is God non-denominational? That's it. Don't brag about what you are. Go to the Bible. That's right. Let's see what God told us to be, Williams. In the book of Leviticus. Follow me in your Bible. Amen. So you don't think I'm making up something. That's right. Follow me in your Bible, Seattle. That's right. Go to your Bible. Amen. That's where all my preaching come from. Bible. I've never been to Bible college. I've never mm. been to seminary school since I've been black. Last time I checked, I've been black all my life. Mm. I get mine from scripture. That's it. I got mine like Paul got his. That's right. Or I take God, hallelujah, by revelation. By revelation. He made known unto me the mystery. That's it. Everybody must be the same thing. That's right. And everybody must do the same thing. You see, when you didn't know no better, you, you know, you brag you was a Baptist. You went to your Baptist church. In fact, you were smoking on your way there. That's right. <laughs> you old Christian fraud. That's right. 
Some of you here now got cigarettes in your pocketbook and cigarettes in your car and cigarettes in your wallet. Amen. And claim you a Christian. You no more a Christian than a roach can shoot dice. That's right. You got a bar in your house. You got liquor. You got Jack Daniels. You got beer all in your house. You got a second wife and a third husband. And you're living together, not married. You're shacking up. Am I right? That's right. You know you know Christian. No Christian. Eh? That's right. Now let us find out according to the Bible That's it. what you should be. In the book of Leviticus chapter 19, and we'll start at verse follow 1. Follow me in your Bible. Follow me in your Bible. That's right. You know, a lot of folks don't like to follow me because they're scared they're going to see it in there. <laughs> Get chapter and verse again. In Leviticus chapter 19, and we'll start at verse 1. What is it? And the Lord spake. No, Geno Genin spake. The Lord spake. Well, don't get shocked at me. I'm not the Lord. That's right. I'm just uh, a puppet of the Lord. That's it. And when he pulled the string, then I got to obey my puppet master. That's right. Eh? And the Lord oh, spake. God. The Lord said. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, said what? Speak unto all the congregation of the right children now, of Israel. Right now, I'm talking to all Seattle, Washington, in the world. And say unto them. What did God told Moses to tell the people? Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Baptist. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Catholic. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Mormon. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Jehovah's witness. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be seven day Adventist. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Muslim. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Hebrew Israelite. Ye shall be holy. Amen. Amen. You better give up now. Give up. God is talking. Ye shall be holy. What's the reason that God tell us to be holy with? For I the Lord your God am holy. All right. Amen. God said, be holy. Be holy. And he gave the reason why you should be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. All right, you that say you're non-denominational, apostolic, Baptist, Methodist, Catholic, and Catholic. Mormon, and all that, can you say you are those things because God is that? Mm. Right, good Ain't government now. Amen. You don't gave all this money to the churches. You don't bought the preacher the car. That's why he ride right by you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You pay his electric, you pay his gas, you pay his rent. That's you right. send his children to the best schools and often tell folk, if you got enough money to send these poor pit bums <laughs> children to the best schools, then you should send your own children to the best right. schools. That's right. That's it. That's Go right. to the Bible. See, it's God is, is what you claim you are. Amen. Amen. And if God is not what you are, why are you bragging about being it? That's right. That's it. Sometimes you got all these religions in one roof. A Baptist father laying with a Methodist wife. Amen. Birthing a Catholic child That's who right. got a Mormon sister. That's, <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. All these religions. That's right. Under one roof. Amen. You look at the religion of men. Yeah. You can easily find whether that religion is of man because there's a there's a date attached to it. Oh yes. yes sir. Holiness is the only belief that been here That's right. before creation itself. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1. I love to give Bible to back up what I'm saying. That's right. And you walk around bragging that you some Methodist and non-denominational and all that type of religious trash. Oh, see, you talk so bad about it. I talk so bad about it because those religions are no good. No good. That's why you got that second wife in one of those religions. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got that third husband in one of those religions. That's right. That's why you go to them non-denominational churches because you can live like the devil and get high and drink and smoke, party all day Friday, party all day Saturday, then get on the choir with about 15 passion marks from about 15 different men and you ain't married to none of them and get on the choir to sing going up yonder. And that's what I'm trying to do is to get you from up yonder. That's right. That's right. Are uh, you listening to the old troublemaker? In the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. Says what? According as he hath chosen us in him. God talking. Amen. According to as he, he God. Hath chosen hath us. chosen us. In him. When? Before the foundation of the world. When? Before the foundation before of the world. Before the world was, what did God tell us to be before? Before the world was. That we should be holy. Can you trace your religion back before the world was? Amen. That's the question. That's the question. Before. 
That's why I can challenge anybody's religion. I don't care who you are. That's right. I don't care what your religion is tonight. I can challenge it with Bible and ask, and ask you, is your religion before the world was? That's Nobody right. can say yes. Right. Nobody. No human no. can say yes. Oh, no. Nobody. Nobody. Glory to God. Amen. Nobody's religion was back there before the world was. That's right. Listen at this again. In Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. The Baptist can't say it. The Muslim can't say it. The Mormon can't say it. The Seventh-day Adventist can't say it. The Lutheran can't say it. Pope Francis can't say it. Jehovah Witness can't say it. Your mama can't say it. Your daddy can't. Your slap happy drunken grandpappy can't say it. That's right. And he may be the pastor of that fake church. That's right. Right. That's right. But I can go all the way back. That's right. Before the world was. Before the foundation of the world. What did God tell you? That we should be holy. Can your religion go back that far? Amen. Think of it now. Amen. Any religion under the sun today that's not holy that's is not of right. the devil. That's right. Did you hear, Pastor Jen? That's right. All of you that are here that got a religion and it's not holy, your religious belief, all of it. All of it. I said every drop of it. That's right. It's of the devil. And the Lord spake unto Moses. If you're a Moses. member of a church that got a religion and that religion is not holy, you're in a false church following false a false church. prophet. That's right. Who? You. That's right. What? Seattle. Yes. Amen. Washington. Amen. And the whole world. That's right. Everybody got to come back to Bible and do exactly what the Bible said do in order for you to profess a good profession. Yes. Before your profession can be good, yes. you got to profess what the Bible profess. That's right. Before many witnesses. That's right. That's what make my preaching so yes, strong and Amen. so thunderous. And That's right. So loud. Yeah. And we go in everybody's city and turn it over. That's right. And leave happily ever after. Amen. 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 Because no preacher and no religion yeah. in that city, in that state, in that village, in that country, in that town yeah. can protect their religion. That's right. And say, oh, my religion is of God. Then if it's of God, show me in the Bible. That's it. That God is what you say you are. That's right. Show me. Show Bible. Amen. That's what I want you to get used to. That's it. If you're going to believe something, right. believe what God believes. That's right. And most preachers don't think that way. No. They oh. brag because a celebrity go in your church. What do I care? Amen. Well, Pastor Jenner, what celebrity is at your church? The Lord. The, that's right. The Lord. The Lord. He's great too, brother. Yes, he is. Yeah? That's right. Yeah, man. He ain't no paparazzi following him. Oh, no. Not at all. He's so great. He never had a beginning, never had an ending. That's right. Seattle, Washington, I'm taking this route so you can evaluate what you believe. That's it. I want you to understand, regardless of what you have or what you own, you're going to die one day. Amen. Either you're going to die on God's side so you can go back with him, or you're going to die serving the devil. That's it. And if you die, I don't care what nice words some old Jerry Curl head preacher say over you. That's right. You either going to die right or die wrong. That's right. That's it. That's it. Believe whatever you want to believe. Join any church you want to join. Be an usher, be a choir director, be a musician. Right. Hey Amen. Be a little fake preacher in your church. That's Go right. there tomorrow, give a testimony, and say, you know, I went to check that old loudmouth gin, you right. know, Saturday night, and uh, I just found he made a bunch of noise. He think everybody wrong but him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what an undercover hypocrite an undercover. would say, you know. That's right. That's an undercover hypocrite. That's right. I'm not hiding under the cover. I'm, I'm speaking openly. Amen. And boldly. And I'm telling every church member in Seattle, Washington, Amen. you got to be what God is. That's right. If God say he's holy, holy. then you got to ask yourself who gave you the right yeah. to claim to be something God is not. That's right. That's it. Who gave you that right? Who gave you that right? Not only that, who in their right mind mm -hmm. right. will want to claim to be something that your heavenly father is not? That's right. And you claim you're God's children? Right. That's right. right. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Get, don't get lose sight on Pastor Jennings. Amen. That's why some folk just can't get past my frank talking. Right. They say, he sounds so mean. Pastor Jennings, can't you say it more loving? All right, I say it more loving. More loving. <laughs> if you don't do what the Bible says, <laughs> I, I'm afraid you won't make it. 
And what in the world is that going to do for you? That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling? You? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, The Lord spake to Moses and said, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, that ought, and say unto them, Ye shall be holy. Why? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. So he told us to be holy, didn't give us the reason why. He said, Because he's holy. That's right. All right, you're a Baptist, you're a Methodist, you're a non denomination, you're a Pentecostal, you're apostolic, you're all this other kind of stuff. Yep. Why are you that? Why? That's right. Who told you to be that? Right. Come on. Bible right. said, break forth your strong reason. That's right. That's Why are you that? And this is something that most people never thought of. Right. Why are you that? Are you that? Who told you to be that? Yeah. Who gave you the right to be something opposite from what God is? That's right. What scripture would you justify yourself when you stand before God? Yeah. The Bible said he's going to present to himself the glorious church not having a spot. All these religions are spots. Spots. Because according to the Bible, only holy people is going back with him. In the book of Revelation chapter 20 and at verse 6. Follow me in your Bible. I said only holy people. Only. Glory to God is going back with the Lord. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. Revelation chapter 20 and at verse 6. Follow me. Blessed. Cost. Blessed. Cost. Blessed. Cost. Blessed. Amen. Blessed. Blessed. Hear this now. Hear Ble this, Seattle. That's Seattle, right. Seattle, Washington. Hear this. Blessed. Blessed. And holy. And holy. Is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Yes, Blessed sir. and Baptist is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and non-denominational is he. Blessed and holy is he. That's right. Blessed and Catholic is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and apostolic is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and Hebrew Israelite is he. Blessed and holy is he. Blessed and Mormon. Holy. Blessed and Muslim. Blessed and holy. Blessed and non-denominational. Blessed and holy. Blessed and Christian scientist. Blessed and holy. Blessed and Scientology. Blessed and holy. Amen. Blessed and holy. What are you? That's it. If the Lord came now, That's right. now. will your religion That's qualify right. you to make the first, first resurrection? Resurrection. Because God speaks plain. Blessed and holy is he. Are you blessed? Amen. And not holy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead, bro. Is your religion got you blessed? Blessed. Enough to go back with God That's and it. is not holy? That's right. Wonderful, brother. Glory to God. You better put your thinking cap on. That's right. You go to these churches that let you run around the church like you in the Indiana 500. Nobody care nothing about you running around the church. No. You get motion sickness. Amen. Go to some church and then some liar. You come up there and he's about, when I count to three, when I count to three, the Holy Ghost going to fall. One, two, three. And then he push you on the floor. Push you back. And notice, nobody fall on the floor. They That's always right. fall in the hands of a back catcher. That's right. If you truly got the Holy Ghost, let the Holy Ghost knock you down. Let the Holy Ghost get you out. Amen. If it's the real thing. Amen. Are you getting the old troublemaker? Blessed and holy is he. Are you blessed this evening? Amen. Are you holy this evening? That hath part in the first resurrection. On such. The second death hath no power. Nothing else. No, everything else is coming in the second resurrection. Se that's right. Everything. Everything. E I said everything. <laughs> that's right. Now, Seattle, Washington, you got to look at what you have and compare it with the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I, as I stop here in this city, mm -hmm. amen, and I'll be going back to Philadelphia and be there for a while to get some rest if I'm able. If you're able. But then I got Massachusetts to get to. I have Europe to get to, to about seven or eight country tour. Mm. I'll be out the country throughout uh, June and won't be back until July. Mm. Amen. Then I got an African tour to take. I'll be out the country, God willing, for about August and be back maybe by September. Going from country to country, tearing the devil kingdom That's down right. every place we go. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Tear down the stronghold. That's right. Testing down imagination and every high thing. Go ahead. Or take God that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ and by God's permission bring into captivity every thought. That's right. To the obedience of Christ. I will say to the north, give up. All right, say that. Are you going to give up or are you going to keep being hard headed and stubborn and patronize a religion you ain't never read in the Bible? That's it. 
How many of you, how many of you will patronize a business, mm -hmm. patronize a bank, go to a bank, mm -hmm. deposit your money, and the bank don't give you interest? Amen. Who going to do that? Amen. I have a guaranteed gospel here. Oh, yes. That's guaranteed to give you interest. Guar that's right. This interest is so good that it'll take you over to eternity. That's right. Eternity with God. That's right. Look over what you have. Amen. Do not brag to be of some religion that's not in the Bible. That's right. Some of you say my religion is Christianity. It is. It is. Show me that in the Bible. Right. What, Pastor Jenner? Don't go get soprano on me. <laughs> there ain't a religion in the Bible called Christianity. It never was. It never was. Well, you wrong there, Mr. Preacher. They were Christians. I didn't say Christian. No. A Christian is a person. That's right. It was first called Christians at Antioch. Antioch. Give me the book of Acts. In Acts chapter 11 and at verse 26. I want to educate you and take you to school. I want to take you to school. Amen. Seattle, you high up in the mountains. Yeah, I want to get your head out, out of the clouds of being clouds. air sick and <laughs> bring you down the Bible. That's right. Come on down the Bible. That's it. I said there's not a religion in the world that's in the Bible, in the Bible. called Christianity. That's right. It never was. Never was. Let me show you in the Bible where they first was called Christians, and then I'm going to take you to school. In the book of Acts, chapter 11, we're at verse 26. Follow me. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. What is it? And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and, and taught much people. Taught much people. And the disciples, the followers of Jesus, were called Christians first. Where? In Antioch. Mm. You see, they called the disciples Christians at Antioch because the people observed the conduct of the disciples That's right. were like Jesus. That's right. Because they was demonstrating the teaching of Jesus through their deeds and through their lifestyle. That's right. But their religion was never called Christianity. No. The one that formulated that term Christianity mm -hmm. was the Catholic Church. That's right. They took the word Christian and created an acronym from Christ and Christian and formulate Christianity, just like the seven day Adventists did when they read the book of Genesis, Genesis. how on the seventh day the Lord rests. Right. The devil got in some fella, he said, the Lord rest the seventh day. Seventh day. Huh. Seven day Adventists. Adventist. He just he hijacked the Bible. That's right. The Bible ain't never said that God is a seven day Adventist. No. He just hijacked it. That's it. Like John the Baptist, the Baptist. occupation. Right. John the Baptist means John the baptizer. Right. John the Baptist means he was a baptizer. That's right. it. What the devil do? Moved on somebody. <laughs> Hijacked. Hijacked it. The title Baptist right. and start a religion. That's right. Baptist church. That's right. That's it. Isn't that something? That's something. That's something. That's something. That's hijacked it. Amen. Amen. Saw the word Presbytery, presbytery. laying on hand of the, the presbytery. presbytery. Right. Hijack the word. That's right. And start a religion. Yeah. Presbyterian. That's right. That's it. That's right. That's it. Mm -hmm. They looked at the feast that the Jews was having. Yeah, right. It was called the Feast of Weeks. Yeah. Also called Pentecost. Pentecost. What the devil do? Get in a man. Yeah. Hijack the word Pentecost. Yep. And start it. Pentecostal church. That's right. Hijack it. John come along and say, one come after me that's mightier than I. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. What the devil do? Moved on some man to start an organization called the Fire Baptized Holiness. That's right. That's right. Hijack. Hijacked it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. A bunch of pulpit hijackers and people, and people never thought. No. They never gave it no thought. They just going around the church, around the world, claiming they clinging to it, and then God sent me along, Amen. like a stray pit bull. That's right. Wandering in everybody's neighborhood. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Grabbing your religion and ripping it to shreds like a mad dog tearing up a phone book. That's right. That's right. And Amen. I'm demanding the world Amen. come back to Bible. That's it. Come back. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Come on back. That's right. Ain't 
ain't no need to go bragging about something, claiming to be something, and that stuff is not in there. Not Don't waste it. your energy getting mad at me. I didn't write it. No. If God didn't send me, I'd be just like everything else. That's right. Out here professing something, being loyal to it, right. bragging about it, and look at the sisters. They be making uh, pound cakes and <laughs> sweet potato pies and potato salad and peanut butter sandwiches, selling it and Sorry, having man. car washes and everything to bring money to support that religious trash. That's right. Amen. Amen. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Who did it? The Lord spake. That's why so many is mad at me because I run to the Bible. A lot of folks ain't way. used to seeing the preacher run to Bible for everything. That's right. God, I run to the Bible for everything. Amen. That's my hiding place. Oh, yes. And that's my shell, you know. Oh, yes. You know, when I came up in the hood and we had mixed it up, you got to get into your shell right. in order to mix it up right. Right. Well, this is my shell. The Bible is my shell. I duck behind scripture. Go ahead. I get behind the prophets and the apostles. That way, when I see that false religion coming up, <laughs> when I see that false religion coming up, I'm going after it. That's right. Coming after it. Amen. That's right. Search the Bible for your religion, Seattle. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Never mind what your mother was, your father was. Get this out of your mind. Amen. That because my mama was a member of a church, that's what make the church right. right. No, no, you have to be what God is. That's it. And God is bigger and better and greater than your mama. That's right. And then your daddy. Amen. Your mama ain't coming back for you. No. God is. That's right. Your daddy ain't coming back for you. That's right. God is. Amen. Your mama and daddy didn't make you. Amen. God did. Go ahead, man. So wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. My, my daddy and mama came together. I don't care how many times they came together. If God didn't bless that sperm and quicken that egg, you wouldn't be here now. <laughs> That's right. Everything fall back to the boss. That's right. And God is he. And the Lord spake unto Moses, oh, saying, God. God said to Moses, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And say what? And say unto them, Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. Holiness is the characteristics of God, the doctrine of God, the standard of God, the statutes of God, the rules and regulations. That's right. Comes from God, given to the prophets, given to the apostles to teach. That's right. How God's people, or how the people in the earth, yeah. should live. That's right. What they are allowed to do, what they can't do, yeah. how to be born again. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. That way, when you go to the Bible, see how you're born again. It won't be no bowing head, won't be no raising hands. That's right. Won't be getting up and preaching, say, "Anybody want a church home? I give you a home." And you go to that old church while the choir back there singing, got you feeling guilty. <laughs> choir singing for you. I'm praying. I'm praying for you. You and your third wife come up holding hands. That's right. <laughs> And then some old drunken elder and some old other gay elder over there. That's right. He, he, he lay his hands on you. He got his hand like this and the other hand posing. Yeah. And you asking Christ to come into your heart. Come into your heart. And then he said, you saved. You ain't saved. No. Any of you in here bow your head and raise your hands and thought you accept Christ as your personal Savior? Mm -hmm. Or pray some sinner's prayer, mm -hmm. and the preacher told you you're saved. He lied to you. He lied. I don't care if the preacher is here. He's sitting here, a liar. That's right. The preacher himself is a sinner. That's right. If any of you preachers in this building tonight bow your head, mm -hmm. and you raise your hand, and you thought you were saved, you are not saved. Not saved. It ain't a person in that Bible was ever told to bow their head, raise their hand, pray a sinner's prayer. Not one. Not one. And if you're baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're not baptized. That's right. You're just wet. That's it. Give me Matthew 28, 19. Amen. I want you to follow me in the Bible because yes. if everything practice baptized wrong. Yeah. I said everything. Oh, yes. Amen. The Catholics baptized wrong. The Methodists baptized wrong. The non-denominational baptized wrong. The Pentecostals baptized wrong. The Seventh-day Adventists baptized wrong. The Church of God in Christ baptized wrong, the church of the living God baptized oh, yeah. wrong, That's the right. church of pillar ground and truth baptized wrong. That's right. Let's examine how you baptize 
this evening, Seattle. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 28 and verse 19. See how you're going to ride that Seattle side saddle. <laughs> That's right. Let's come on back to Bible now, Mr. and Miss. Amen. I'm challenging you say you're saved. All right. We're going to challenge you with the Bible. That's right. Follow me. Matthew 28 and verse 19. Listen closely, closely at what the word of God says. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Hallelujah to God. Amen. That's what most people don't have. Right. Teaching. Teaching. They just got some fella up in the pulpit with his hands over his ears and an organ playing behind him. Telling you, ain't that all right? Ha, what goes up ha, must come down. Mm. Sound like someone got him in a coffee grinder. That's right. And hear your mama and your wife your jumping up. Ooh, praise him. That's it. Paula, tell her, sit down. That's right. That's right. I know where you're going to get happy over somebody moaning like a pig going through the slaughterhouse. Amen. You ain't understand nothing that he's saying. That's right. Like he's being flushed down the toilet. Amen. Come on, son. Go ye there, Matthew 28 and verse 19. What did he say, Will? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Get going. That's what and we're doing. That, that's right. Teaching everything. Teach all nations. Teach every nation. I don't care what nationality, what color. God gave us a message that's pulling every nation. Oh, yes. Teach what? All nations. Everybody. Baptizing them. Listen closely. Baptizing them. And this is what your pastor overlooked. This is what millions have overlooked. The language of the Bible. They didn't understand what the Bible said. They just took it, ran off, and didn't obey it. That's right. Baptizing them how? In the name. In what? In the name. Of what? Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Now, this is what your, your, your bishop did. Your bishop got you, took you in water, and said, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. He said he going to do it, going and he it. didn't. That's right. 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 I want to say what? Jesus didn't say baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. Jesus said baptize in the name. In the name. Of you, the you cannot be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost until you know the name. That's right. Of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Once you know that name Amen. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, then you can call that name. That's right. I'm a son, mm -hmm. but I got a name. Right. I got married, I become a husband. Right. I got a name. Right. Me and my wife got seven kids, I become father. Yeah. I got a name. Right. I'm a son, husband, and father. But if I tell you do something in my name, yeah. are you going to say son, no. husband, no. father, no. preacher, no. brother? No. 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 You're going to call my name. Call that name. What's my name? That's right. You're going to call my name. That's right. <laughs> you have to know the name of the Father, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost before you can call that name. That's right. So this is showing you how dumb the preachers are. That's right. How blind they blind were. They were. You know, you're a pastor. Yeah. You're a bishop. Yeah. You're an elder. Yeah. You're a Jerry Curl reverend. That's Some right. of them are your father. Some of them are your husband. Yeah. Some of them are your uncle. And some of them are you. That's right. right. That's it, son. That's right. All of you that was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you wasn't baptized at all. At all. Because you just got wet. That's it. The Bible says do it in the name the of name. it. And until you call the name of it, yeah. you just got the title. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Just like my title is Son, Husband, and Father. That's right. That's right. That's right. Matthew 28, 19, it was told to told do it. To, yeah. mm -hmm. Now let's see where it was fulfilled, where it was done. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. Hear me, Seattle, Washington. Hear me now. Acts 2 and verse 38. Say what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Do what? Repent. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Oh, yes. God wants you to repent. Repent. Why does God want repentance? Because you are the devil. That's right. <laughs> Plain and simple, Pastor. Huh? I say, I'm not of the devil. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. God, God even said you're of your father, you're of your, the devil. That's right. You smoke, you drink, you gamble, you cuss, you lie, you swear. That's right. You play the lottery. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a bar in your house. Got Jack Daniels in there. Yeah. Amen. Got guns, knives. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says the weapon of our warfare is not carnal, but mighty through God, pulling down the strongholds, casting down imaginations, every high that exalted itself against the knowledge of Christ. That's right. Mm-hmm. 
that's right. The Holy Ghost says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. See, God wants you to be convicted for your wrong. Yeah. God wants you to repent. That's See, right. I don't watch it, then God wants you to repent. Repent. He wants some conviction in here. That's right. You've been spending all these years going to church, making these preachers richer and richer, richer and richer. And the way these churches teach God, they teach you with such hypocrisy. Yeah. They got you thinking the more money you give, the more blessing you receive. That's a lie. That's a lie. And here's Jesus taught the poor. You have with you always. always. You mean to tell me God can't do nothing for me unless I got money? Hello. I don't want no God like that. No way. God can do for me if I ain't got to die. That's right. That's right. What if God said come without money and come without price? And if you go to these churches where the preachers get up and go with some fake tongue, the Lord just spoke to me and said, there's $10,000 in the house. That's right. That's what they do. That's what they do. And the Lord said, if you give that 10000 that 10000 he'll give it back to you 100-fold. The only they thing said. that's fold is your, your, your inside of your pocket pants. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I don't care if you have money. I don't care if you don't. Mm -hmm. You don't obey God, you're going to be in the lake of fire burning long as God lives. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Seattle, Seattle. Whether you claim you a preacher, you ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you might as well stop preaching because you're still a sinner. That's right. God want everybody, everybody under the sun. I don't care how rich you are. I know rich people. I'm not impressed with none of them. Right. Amen. Someone say, you know rich people? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People watch this program of every walk in life. Amen. Celebrities watch it. I meet them in the airport. Pastor Jennings, you know me? No. Right. 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 Do you want my autograph? No. 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 I've had celebrities ask me, you want my autograph? I told them, no, I can write. That's right. right. Your autograph don't mean nothing to me. That's right. Your, your autograph don't have no value to me. That's right. Now, if Jesus was walking and asking me, you want to Oh, yeah, listen, sign your name on my back. <laughs> put, put, your, put your name on my back. That's right. Put your name on me, Jesus, right now. Right, right now. So why is it that these men are sell out? They're sell out for money. They're sell out for a photo op. I don't, that stuff don't interest me, man. That's right. And people know us all around the world. I'm not fame. Don't bother me. I, I'm just that not. I'm a very private man. Oh yes. I'm just not that kind of preacher. That stuff don't interest me because when heaven and earth pass away, all the stuff you own, everything you have. Oh yes. God gonna burn it up. That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. This is the way Matthew 28, 19 was fulfilled. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name. That's right. Of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Just like my name, Jennings, mm -hmm. is the name of this Son, Husband, and Father. That's right. The name of Jesus Christ is the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And if he said, Do it in the name Amen. of it, the preacher got to call that name. That's right. That's right. What? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, I hold it right there, and then let me bring something else. That's right. <laughs> Cough it up now. <laughs> because many of you went to a church and you was baptized in Jesus' name. In Jesus' right. name. That's wrong. That's right. I want to say, but the Bible said be baptized in Jesus' name. No, it did not. No. They said be baptized how? In the name of Jesus Christ. There's more than one Jesus in the Bible. Right, that's right. That's you got Jesus Christ, which is God, yep. and Pastor Paul baptized and used the word Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. But you got more than one Jesus in the Bible. Oh, yeah. So you just can't be baptized simply in Jesus' name. That's right. You got Joshua, who was Moses' minister. Right. There are no J's in the Hebrew language. Right. So the proper pronunciation of Joshua is Yahashua. That's right. And Yahashua in English translation right. is Jesus. That's right. You got Jacob and Esau. Esau in Arabic is pronounced Esau. Well, in English, Esau, the name is Jesus. That's right. In the New Testament, you got Jesus Justice. And then you got a false prophet named Bar Jesus. That's right. So you just can't be baptized simply in the name Jesus. None of the apostles baptized no, nobody and just said Jesus' name. Not no, one. No, no. They all baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or the words Lord, Lord Jesus. That's right. Give me Colossians 3, 17. In Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. I got to lock it all down with Bible. And whatsoever ye do. Uh-oh. 
Uh -oh. whatsoever. Look at yourself now. That's right. I'm going to tie you down with Bible, Seattle. That's right. I'm going to lock you. I'm going to hog tie you. <laughs> Amen. Eh? And whatsoever you whatsoever. do. Whatsoever. Whatsoever you do. I don't care what it is, brother and sister, whatever you do. In word. In word. Or deed. Or deed. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Baptism is a deed. And in baptism, words is being uttered. That's right. And the Bible said, do all how? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. How were you baptized? How Go back and baptized? check it out now. That's right. Oh, yes. You know, getting into the kingdom of God is hard. Oh, yes. Because you can't have a spot, you can't have a wrinkle, nor any such thing, but that you should be holy. Holy. And God ain't going to, you know, sometimes some folks take a driving test and hit a cone. And the instructor say, oh, don't worry about it. I'll let you get past <laughs> this time. But That's not right. the Lord. Not the Lord. Uh, when you bump up against these scriptures, brother, you stop. That's right. You're going to be stopped right here. That's right. Huh? And whatsoever you do. Whatsoever you do. In word. In word. Or deed. Or deed. Do all in How the, much? Do all in the name of the Lord Are Jesus. Are you listening to me tonight, Seattle? Amen. Everything here, everything that's jam-packed in this building, and them that's outside that can't get in, you that's got right. this to do. That's right. Everybody must repent of their sins. Everybody, Everybody must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. If you don't do it, you ain't never been saved. It doesn't matter how long you've been a member of that church. Right. On the choir, one of the musicians, on the prayer band, right. church cleaner. If you vacuum the floor, dust the carpet, wipe the pew off, use lemon pledge on the podium. <laughs> Repent. What? Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one right, of hold you. Hold that. Let me get this one question real quick, then I go back to the Bible. Yes, sister? Yes? Yes. All right, the Bible says this, God will have mercy on whom he will have mercy. You see, God is the righteous judge. And, and a righteous judge judge wisely. God will not hold a person accountable for what they don't know. Amen. And when you come into the knowledge of the thing, then you help the accountable. That's why he says he will have mercy on whom he will have mercy. All right? That's why we got a just God here. That's right. That's what the Bible says. He will have mercy on who? He will have mercy. Amen. God will never hold a person accountable for what they don't know. Romans chapter 9 and verse 15. That's what? For he said to Moses. He said to Moses. I will have mercy. I will have mercy. On whom? On whom? I will have mercy. On whom I will And have I will mercy. have compassion. I will have compassion. On whom I will have oh, compassion. Thank God on whom I will have Ooh. compassion. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. That's right. So if he don't understand, then God won't help him accountable right. because of his artistic condition. That's right. That's why we got a just God and a wise God. That's right. He's not a fool. No. But for you that do understand. <laughs> do understand. Repent. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. Glory to God. That's right. Repent. Repent. You got to repent. Amen. Everybody in Seattle, everything that's jam-packed that's right. in this auditorium, that have not obeyed Acts 2.30. I don't care if you already was baptized. No. Somebody wrote me and said, well, I was baptized, and I get baptized over again on under one condition. If you prove by the Bible that uh, anybody else was baptized over. That's not difficult to do. That's not difficult Given the 19th to do. chapter of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 19. Begin at verse 1. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, passed through the upper coast, Paul passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and, and he found certain disciples and said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said, We haven't heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And then Paul asked, How were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. And here you had John's disciples. That's right. And you remember... Jesus preached John. That's right. He said, of them born of a woman. It's not a greater prophet than John. That's right. And John baptized Jesus. Right. I want this to be good in case I got any undercover Baptists here. Yeah. And say, Pastor Jennings, that's why I'm a Baptist, because John was a Baptist. John was not a Baptist. No. John title Baptist was based upon his occupation. That's right. Amen. John the Baptist meant John the Baptizer. That's right. And if you use John's occupation to justify your religion, you're still in a bad case. Because John said he was I'm, not that light. He said, I'm not the light. But was sent to bear witness of that light. That's going to show you your Baptist belief is not the light. That's right. John said, I'm not the light. Not that light. But I come to bear witness of the light. That was the and true the light. One, and the one that he bear witness of was Jesus because that was the true light. Which and light? Jesus said he's the light of the world. Oh, yeah, man. Huh? That's right. What did he say, son? Back in Acts chapter 19 and verse 3. That's what? And he said unto them, unto what then were you baptized? That's what I'm asking you, Seattle. Amen. Hey, Seattle. 
you Seattle, Washington folk, yeah. That's right. How were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Oh, Pastor Jennings, I was baptized a Baptist, a Methodist, a Mormon, a Catholic. I took my little daughter to the Catholic priest. I bought her a white dress from, <laughs> I bought her a white dress, and I bought my son a white suit from Ross and, 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 <laughs> And TJ Maxx and got him some nice little white pay less shoes. Why pay more? <laughs> hey man, I took him. I took him to the priest, and the priest got his little thing of water and sprinkled on sprinkled. him and said, "In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost." Then he started speaking Latin. That's right. Can speak all the pig Latin he wants. Amen. If any of you sprinkle, you never was baptized. You, that's right. Don't you know your whole body got to go in water? Romans chapter yeah. 6. Hold whole Acts and give me the sixth chapter, the book of Romans, begin at verse 1 and say, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that, that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? No, you're not. That, that so, so many, many of us, us were baptized into Jesus Christ. How was we baptized? We're baptized into his death. Please tell the world how we must go in water. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Give me that bottle right there, brother. Well, what? We are buried with him by wait, baptism. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. Well, what? We are buried with him by baptism. <laughs> well, what? We are buried with him by baptism. Are you baptized yet? Not yet, Pastor. Are you, you, I still need more water, Pastor. You still need more water? Need more water. You need Pastor. more water? Amen. You need more water? Need more water, Pastor. We are buried with him by baptism. That's what some of you done. That's right. Your mama or your grandmama or your slap happy grandpappy took your, your teach them old Catholic church. Amen. And you was there old standing up on an uh, upright uh, toilet bowl or upright uh, uh, what, what, the, what birds be bathing in. Right. A little bird bath. Bird, bird bath. And you are so happy, so glad. Your relatives all there. Dr. Child got Christian and all that. That's right. Your baby didn't get Christian at all. At all. The better off for you to do was when that priest threw water on you, you should have took it and threw it right back. That's right. <laughs> it ain't none of you baptized until you got it like the Bible. Like the Bible. You know one thing I say about God? He'll take the religion of men and expose it. Oh, yeah. And then show us how blind we were. That's right. And how dumb we were. That's right. And how ignorant we were. That's right. And then we, he showed mercy by not cutting us off yeah. in the midst of our stupidity. Oh, yeah. And bring the light of the gospel Hallelujah. to resurrect us into the knowledge of Christ. That's right. And Therefore, we are buried with him. We are buried. Buried. Buried, buried with him by baptism. Wait a minute. You got to do what? Buried with him. Your whole body got to go in water. By baptism. Your whole body got to go in water and be buried with him by baptism. That's right. All right, let's go back to the 19th chapter of Acts, and let's get those that were baptized over again. Back in Acts chapter 19 and verse 3. Follow me and get me. And he said unto them, unto what then were you baptized? How were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Mm -hmm. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Saying what? Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. That is on Christ Jesus. Now remember, John the disciples already were baptized. That's right. It was baptized into repentance. That's right. But John the Baptist baptism expired. Right. right. Because one greater than John came on the scene. Right. That's right. And right. Jesus Christ was he. Then said Paul. And then Paul laid it to John followers. John verily baptized John with the baptism of baptism repentance. baptism unto repentance. Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. Who was that on? That is on Christ Jesus. Please tell Seattle Washington how did John disciples respond to that message. When they heard this. They hold the finger up and walked out. When they heard this. They left. When they heard this, they got mad at Paul and said, that's your opinion. When they heard this, they got mad at Paul and said, I'm a Baptist born and Baptist gone. When they heard this, they got mad at Paul and said, we all about John. <laughs> when they heard this, <laughs> go ahead and God. What? When they heard this, you here in the Seattle, what you going to do? That's you right. going to get mad at Pastor Jenner and say, I don't care what you said. I just came to check you out tonight check you because out. I heard so much talk about you. Amen. Checking me out ain't going to save you. Oh, no. You better check the Bible out and compare yourself with that Bible. That's right. Do you hear this? When they heard this. What did they do? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. They were baptized in what name? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then what? And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost came on them. The Spirit of God came on them. And they spake with tongues and prophesied. That's a wonderful thing. Amen. Amen. 
All right, what do everybody here got to do, Em? I will say to the North, give up. All right, Seattle, are you ready to give up? Are you going to hold on to your religious tradition? That's right. You going to hold to your tradition and be a fool? Be a fool. And die and go to hell over our tradition? Mm. Mm, it ain't worth it, is it? No. Time for you to give up and repent of your sins. Get right with God. Take that man-made cheap stuff that you've been doing all these years and throw it away. That's right. You can't force this upon nobody. I don't go force this upon nobody. No. I just preach it by God's permission and whosoever will let him come. That's right. Anybody here want to obey the Bible and be baptized in water? In the name of Jesus Christ here in Seattle, Washington, stand on your feet now if you want it. Stand on your feet, Seattle. Wonderful. Stand on your feet, everything, everything Wonderful. that don't have it. Wonderful. Everything that don't have it. Stand on your feet now. Wonderful. That's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Wonderful thing. It is the work of the apostles. Hallelujah. All right, where's Brother James? Are you set up back there? All right, you set him up afterward? All right, what we're going to ask you all that stood up, sit back down, and right after the benediction, go right out. After the benediction, you can go right out there after we dismiss, and they're going to get you all together and get you organized and baptize you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Normally, normally they have tables set up in the back so folks can fill out the necessary baptismal forms, but because the room is so small and uh, we just can't fit them in here, so we'll just make adjustments and adapt, and maybe hopefully we'll try to get a bigger room for tomorrow. Don't you sneak to your false church tomorrow. That's right. Don't you even try to sneak to your false church tomorrow. That's right. Don't you step a foot back in that fake church Giving that robe-wearing liar some money. Amen. That, that heathen go get a job or go to work. I don't care if he got to sell balloons and sell hot dogs. <laughs> let him get a job or go to work or let him go to hell broke. That's right. They say, that Jen is a rough man. No, I just believe what the Bible says. Amen. People being led to hell for years. Oh, yeah. Come a time in your life when your understanding come open. You become tired of being lied to. That's right. You know, when you're ignorant, a preacher can manipulate you. Yeah. He can con you. He can trick you. Oh, yeah. But when your understanding come open, That's it. that put a board in your back. That's right. And make you stand up against the false prophets That's now. Right. That's right. Eh? Amen. Amen. All right. We're going to great to let you go. So all of you that stood to be baptized right after the benediction, don't linger around. Go on out them doors quick. Because they're getting themselves set up to baptize you. And if I don't get a chance to shake your hand tonight, don't worry about it. Come on back tomorrow. Come on back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And uh, don't you worry about going back to your old weak, good for nothing, low down, dirty church no more. <laughs> so I say, well, Pastor Jennings, uh, do I write my preacher a letter to leave? Did you write him to go there? Mm. You ain't write him to go. You ain't got to write him to leave. Question real quick. Yes, sir. Well, I believe they got some more back there, out there in the lobby somewhere. Yes, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, I did. When I came out of the Apostolic Church, the preacher that I was under, he was doing right. He's doing right. I mean, he was on point. He didn't go haywire till way later. That's right. Yeah. When you was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, when you got it right, you got it right. You, right. you don't have to be baptized over again unless you got it wrong. Right. Unless it was a woman that baptized you in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's right. right name, wrong performance. wrong performance. If you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, as long as you got it right, you ain't got to get it again. And as long as you repent it right. before you was baptized, That's right. then you in good hands. That's right. All right. All right, well, all right. you got it right. That's all right. That's all right. But now you got to continue to stand fast in the apostles' doctrine. Right. And I swear so many of the apostolics don't went far to left field. Right baptism, Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, women preachers, women and all that stuff, and gay pastors and all of that, and home remarriage and divorce and living together, not married, banquets in the churches. And, Second wise, and tell you God ain't looking at your outward, he's just looking at your heart. When God saved you, God look at the outward package and the inward package. That's right. Because when the inside get right, the outward fall in place. That's right. All right, Seattle, one more question, real quick.
Yes, sir. Uh, Mark Washington, well, she got a baby dad. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm thinking so too. <laughs> in the book of St. John. Very quick, Sam. My Saint, time is getting away. St. John chapter 4, we'll start at verse 16. That's what? Jesus saith unto her, Go call thy husband and come hither. Jesus said to her, Go call your husband and come on in here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. I ain't got no husband, Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, you I have no the husband. Truth. For thou hast had five husbands. You had five. And he whom thou and now hast. And the one you now have. Is not thy husband. Oh, yeah, so, so that, that woman, I, I, all the husbands she got. As long as, some, long as the first one sh living, all the other ones she got is not hers. Right. As long as that first one is living. So you're not the first one, are you? No. Then you ain't a husband. That's right. You're the fourth one. That's right. And, and she was your first wife. She was, wife. She was your second wife. Died. Your second wife died. My first wife died. Your first wife died. Uh -huh. So she was your second one. Yeah. But the second one you got was already married. Yeah. So she ain't yours. Right. That made you the fornicator. That made her living in adultery. Right. All, right. all right. Let us all stand. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, all of you that want to get baptized, remember, right after the benediction, go on out there because they're waiting for you so they can baptize you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Eternal God, we thank you once again for the manifestation of the power of your word, how you lived up to what you have written in the scriptures that you have brought all nations unto you. We thank you for the word of God brought here in Seattle, Washington. We thank you for the sincerity and the honesty of the brothers and sisters ready to go down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Do here like you did every place. Blessed to open up a temple here that the word of God may have free course. Give us victory here in the city. Continue to add daily such as be saved. Bless us as we go back to our separate destination. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every heart say amen. amen. All right, you that's going to be baptized, go ahead out. Everybody come on back at 11 o'clock. And don't you sneak to your old church. You that's going to get baptized, go on out now. We'll see you tomorrow. May God bless you.